hi guys welcome back to my channel okay so this weekend i have been having really good fun making some stamps now what i've used i've used some of this lovely fun foam stuff that you get um it's the foam sheets and it, this one is self-adhesive um and we all have this even if you don't have the self-adhesive one in your craft stash i'm sure i've had mine for years um if you don't have the self-adhesive one um you can um put double-sided tape on the back which makes it really really easy to use so i'm going to show you what i've been doing because obviously the last one i did was some of the stencils um and i was going to use other stuff for the stamps but i had so much fun using the, the foam sheets that i got a bit waylaid and only made them out of these so they are so good to use and so easy um, so what I've done on these ones, I've just drawn patterns on them. So this is just like little circles. I'm going to stamp some in a minute and show you. This is one very similar to the flower from my doodle set, which all as I did, I've just traced around the outside of the flower um, when I printed it off um, and cut it out and then just added the, the little shapes inside. So you can trace any shape. Um, this one I've done like a paisley shape. Um, you can't really see it because I've got ink on them and then we've got dots and dots with dots in the middle and another big paisley and then we've got bits of the uh, the leftovers this is a feather it looks a bit more like sort of like a feather and a leaf but it's quite nice it looks lovely stamped out this is just some um, lines so these make fantastic background stamps um, this one is just little off cuts with some little um, to do the dots, the little circles, all as I've used is my little hole punch. So it's just one of these like this. So it's really easy because I don't think I would be able to cut those out. And then this is just squares. And then here, look, I've just done patterns and here. And this one, I've actually made a little flower pot. And then I tried to sort of make like a, a cactus on the top, but it looks quite good when it's printed out, uh, stamped out. Um, and it's very easy very quick so I'm going to show you how to make those and there's another little flower pot um, and then I've got some little bits of grass and these are little leftovers from stamping out some little circles and these are some of my flowers again okay and I've actually put some on cork so I did one of my little flowers and I've stuck it on the end of a cork um, and then here I've just stuck some bits so you can just sort of like roll it um, and then I've got another little flower like a little tulip head and a leaf on the bottom some little lines a little heart so it's just endless and then I've got some more bits and pieces in here so what I'm going to show I'm going to show you how they stamp out first because they stamp out really well okay so let me just show you how we do this little the little cactus it looks really cute so I've just made like a little um flower pot so let's just show you how so these are just um, an old ink set that I've had I've had them for years I was using the um, Tim Holtz distress ink but mine are a bit too um, new and they make it a bit too um, juicy so that's how the little flower pot comes out and then I just need some green here so I just rub it over the top I've actually stuck it right on the edge of the card here um, so you can line it up like that so it's not too much of a guesswork and then we got a little cactus in a pot so I thought it was really cute and again like I did on the stencils um, I popped them on one end so we've you've got a piece to hold on to and I think find that a lot easier I was making them like this um, but I found you needed something really to hold on to, especially the smaller ones. Um, and then these just stamp down lovely. But they're really cute. So let's have a look. So that's my, that one. I'll show you how this um, paisley one comes out. So what should we have? Let me just find all the colours. Let's have a lovely blue. Here. Find it easier to ink on them instead of putting it that way I find it easier the other way so there's your paisley 
and it comes out really nice and this one I've actually just cut out I did cut out the um, bigger circles here and these are punched and then I've just popped a hole in those so they look really good so just rub a bit of ink over the top and these are ideal so look don't they look great so these are fantastic for background stamps so they look really really good and so easy and I've just stuck them onto a um, piece of cereal box that's all so it's very inexpensive these ones I've actually just used old bits of card that I had um, but they look really good and that's just a circle with patterns in it so let's just show you what some of these are like and then I will show you what how I did them There we go, so it looks really good. So background stamps would look fantastic, especially um, for your art journaling, if you're doing the art journaling. Oh, I must show you what this feather looks like, because I quite like this. good looks really really good so you can do obviously over the top because it will be lighter as you do the second stamp so to make a, a background would look great especially if you did it in sort of like pinks and blues I thought that looked really nice see Daisy right I'm going to show you how oh, let me just show you this one this one I've just um, drew little circles in and it's quite nice because this is a lovely background stamp as well I didn't put this on anything because I, it's easier to use because I wouldn't use all of it I just use bits so and then you can bend it to however you want it so let's have a look let's have a little bit of the purple you can see just cut around it and then it just does a lovely background stamp the little circles look like little bubbles so I thought they were really nice okay so what oh and these ones here these are what I've just cut out little heart like that and then I've just popped it onto the end of a cork I think probably would be best because I catch the ink around is to double it up so you pop it onto two pieces once you've cut a piece out stick it onto the foam and then cut it around it again and I think it will just lift it just that little bit higher so you wouldn't get the edge of the cork because you can see here you can just get the edge of the cork there but I think they look really nice so really easy so let's make some so there we go this is the foam and this is this is the foam back so what I'll do is I'll draw on the back so what should we do let's just make a a random one so I'm just going to take it this is just a piece of um, cardboard just for the base and you can make two out of this let's make a bigger one okay so would I be able to fit that on there yes so what I'm going to do I'm just going to draw around this let me do it so I don't have to put my head in the way so I'm drawing on the back of the, the foam, so it's actually, I'm drawing on the paper, because I think if you draw on the foam and you mark it, let's put one on the inside as well, like that. Not that I really need that one, but I'm going to cut this out, like that. looks a little bit like a donut I didn't really need that ring in the middle because what I'm going to do is draw on the other side and all as you need is a pen don't use obviously one of your good pens but I'm going to use this one so you can actually see what I'm drawing so let me see if I've got something I'm going to go in there you can make a mark with anything look whether you can see that but I go around it so you just want to draw in it and it makes a dent inside like this and that's what um, gives you that lovely 
stamp so you can have any design so obviously if you're not going to sell anything you can just get a, a pattern or any shapes that you want to off Pinterest or Google and make your own and just copy them um, so I'm going to do another ring around the outside like this so it's just your imagination really like this and you can do lots of little flowers if you want to do lots of little flowers in flower pots I think they look really lovely nice little spring theme and you could actually make tags couldn't you but remember if you're going to do words you must do them back to front so then, then they'll come out properly so what I'm going to do I'm going to just go around the edge like this so it's really simple do a couple over the top I'm just doing it in this so you can actually see what I'm doing So if you want a little round shapes, little geometric shapes, you could do um, triangles or all sorts. And then I'm going to go in between like this. So it's in between the other one. So if you've got like little sharp tools, I did use, this was my hole punch. So it's one of those pingy ones, noisy ones. And I just went through and I just push that into the into the foam and that made little circles as well so anything you've got like that that will make an indentation into the foam um, will, will obviously um, work really well so there we go so what I'm going to do I'm going to use this I'm just going to probably can't see it very well but it makes the indentation so that the ink can't get into it so that's just a okay so that's like that so what I'll do is I'll just stick this onto here I can pull the backing off Oops. stick it on there which is easy peasy let's take a bit of green so you can see the pattern a little bit better now just rub it over and then stick it down and there we go got a lovely little um, background stamp it's look really good don't they easy peasy so I'll show you how I did the little circle ones now these are if you just take the bottom of that off I'm going to just cut a little section of this off look I tried to use my um, stamps not my stamps my punches but the foam doesn't go through mine are too thick mine are too the hole is too too thin this bit here but this is a lot wider so these could be used so these just pop out this is easy peasy and if you've got a hole punch like the fiscus hole punches you can use that as well but i found this a lot easier because they just pop out the end so then we've got those so i'll show you how i did this one so you've got lots of little circles peel the back off and stick them on couldn't be easier like this stick them down could do all sorts of things if you wanted to do little cat faces or you could just do sort of almost like little silhouettes and stuff like that it's just endless um, once you get going which is great okay that's enough on there for now and then what I'm going to stamp this and show you. Let's, oops, let's go for another colour. Keep going for the same colours. Let's 
go for this lovely blue. Okay, so when we print this here, look. It looks like lovely little dots. But then to do it again, oops, to do it with a hole in the middle, just put your pen in and just wiggle it around right in the middle of the dot, like that. Just so you've got like a little dot in there. And then if you go over it again, you can just see, look. So that's different again. So you could have two lots. So big difference. I think they're really, really nice. Okay, what else? So I'll show you how to make the flower pot. Okay, so what we need is just a little square like this. And what you need is just take a little square, take your pencil, and then what I did, let's have a long one. I just did the top of the pot like that. So you've got the ridge. And then sort of say that's about the middle. And you want the pot like it even. So you've got the even bottom. And just bring it down like that. So that's sort of a flower pot, a little bit wibbly wobbly. Take a little bit more time than I have. There we go. So then you've got the flower pot shape, and so you turn it over. Not quite even, but it doesn't matter. And then what you want to do is just draw that line, let's do it with the pen, across there. So then you want to make that into the, the top of the pot. If we dent that down so that's very simple like that and you've got yourself a little a little flower pot and then we just stick that on here like that stick it right on the end so you know where your bottom of your flower pot is what color should we Oops, have the flower pot the brown Rub it on there. Pop that down. There we go. Easy peasy flower pot. So that's really simple. So let's have a look. And then what you can do with a flower pot. Let's see if I've got some little flowers. There's my cork. Look, the little flower here. So if we have that, what should we have? Pink. And you've got your little pink flowers like that you could put three on there and then you can get a pen let's have a look so you can have some little flowers like that so these would look lovely on um, a little tag or front of a card and then on this one look I've got the tiny little leaf quite simple and you could just put a little bit of ink on there you've got a couple of leaves on there so you can probably do it a little bit better than me take a little bit more time I think that looks really nice and you can even go over if you wanted them to look a bit funky as well just go over your cactus and your pot like this even have sort of like a little bow hanging down and what do cactus they have flowers on don't they so you have like a little flower at the top like that so they look quite funky on a card right shall we do another one what else can we do let's take a piece of card what's easy peasy let's have a look let's do like a little spiral let's see i haven't done a spiral it's a bit too thick it can be. cut that down a little bit let's see if i can do this pop 
that in the middle-ish. That will work. Spin it round. Might be a little bit too thick. so much for the background, any shape, all the little leftover bits. I think that needs to just be cut off into a little point, I think. Sort of. There we go. Shall we get another piece of paper? Look. Let's just turn this piece over. I'll get a fresh piece so you can see. nice bright pink there we go that doesn't look too bad is it very pink that one was wasn't it there we go well that came out quite nice actually so there we go guys i hope you enjoyed that so it's just your imagination that you can you just make anything but please do just go and get some patterns or make them up yourself such fun and it's all you've got to do is just draw on it with a pen they look really nice there we go what else have we got so we've got lots in here look geometric shapes we've got little circles that was just a square this one was just a square, a rectangle, which I actually um, just did a pattern on it. But it's a lot easier if you have something to hold on to. So look, looks really nice. That would look nice just on the front of a card as well, or is um, a focal point on something. One of your cards. Oh look, shall I show you what the little flower looks like? We have a nice blue flower. There we are. So how pretty are these? Cool. Okay, guys, so do ha give it a go. Um, I will going to find some other things to make um, stamps out of as well. But I got so carried away with making them out of this, this um, foam. Um, I loved it. So I thought I'd show you first. I think these are great. There we go. All right, well, thank you for joining me. Um, please give it a go, um, and I will see you in my next video. All right, guys, take care. Bye-bye.